Shuvah Yisrael Ad Hashem Elokecha. Veshavta Ad Hashem Elokecha. These are the words we recite both in Parshat Nitzavim Vayelech in, prep, in the last part of the year. And there's also words that we recite uh, in the Haftorah of Shabbat Shuva. Return, O Israel, says Hosea. And this week's Parsha, Hashem says, V'shavta Hashem Elokecha, that you will return to the Lord your God. Notice the expression, unto. You will return ad until the Lord your God. The, uh, the, in our Gemara in, in Yuma 86b, it doesn't say anything, but, 86a, in the Ketav Yad London, in the London manuscript, and also in the Ein Yaakov edition, it says as follows. Rabbi Levi said, Gedola tshuva shemagaz hakisi hakavod. Tshuva is so great because it reaches all the way to the divine throne. As it says, return, O Israel, unto the Lord your God. So Rabbi Yochanan says, no. Ad v'lo ad It goes up to the divine throne, but it doesn't get all the way to the divine throne. What are they arguing about? What's going on? He says, you can approach the divine throne, but nobody gets to the divine throne. Maybe they're arguing about this question of can righteous people, can, can, a, tzad, can a bal tshuva, a person who repents, can he reach the same level as someone who's, who's always a tzaddik, always righteous? Rabbi Levi says, yes, you can reach that, that throne of glory. And Rabbi Yochan says, no, you can get close, but if you, you have a stain on your, on your record, you can't get all the way there. But they say, what do you mean? Rabbi Yochan said that, that tshuva is so important it could even erase a negative commandment. Uh, you did something against God, you rebelled against God, and this could still undo that type of activity. So they say, well, it depends. For a community, you can get all the way to the divine throne. For an individual, you can get close, but not exactly. This idea of approaching but not actually achieving reminds me of the idea we learn in, in calculus, the idea that you can approach infinity, but you can, but sometimes the equation doesn't quite get to infinity. Infinity. So to over here, we get toward the divine throne, but not a hundred percent, according to Rishon Yochanan. So we said that there might be a distinction between an individual and a community as to whether you could reach the divine throne. Also, Rav Cook would argue that it's a difference of me'ava mi'ira. Did you approach God and return to God out of fear? Maybe you can only get toward the throne. Or did you approach God out of love? You return to God from love. The Ramam says, Tshuva Mi'ava, that's where he quotes this Rebbe Levi, that it comes to the divine throne. The Sephorno says, well, how do we do it? How do we get close to the divine throne? So he says, well, it says in Perkei Avos, May God's will, your will, so you see, if you want to get to the divine throne, if you want yourself to be on, sort of approaching God, so if you wanted all the things that God wanted, then you're there, right? Your will is exactly where He is. In your brain, what you really want in your heart is exactly what He wants. So maybe then you get to the divine throne. But if not, then you can't get there. The Orachayim takes a more classic approach. You, uh, he says, you do the mitzvot. Listening to the commandments. When we listen to God's commandments, it's similar. We listen to God's commandments, we're doing what God wants. So we can get to His throne. We can be, what's a throne? Throne is not God. Throne is what's beneath God. Throne is what God asks you to do. And you're walking on that threshold of where God wants you to be, what He wants you to do. It's a beautiful midrash that someone went up to the seven heavens and it was on the seventh heaven that they were, the angels were discussing the idea of teshuva and repentance. But the Svasema suggests something else and it's very, very interesting. We know that Yaakov Avinu, Yaakov, our forefather, he saw a sulam, a, a, a ladder that was mutzav arts, its, its feet were on the ground. The head of the ladder was up in the sky. And the rabbis say, that the angels were going up and down, and they said, wow, that's amazing. Yaakov down here is just like the Yaakov up there. Where's up there? On the divine throne 
It was a picture of Yaakov. And it's the same as Yaakov down here. What does it mean a divine throne? God could rest with the idyllic, platonic image of Jacob. And you know what? God, God was, was standing, God was above Jacob's head right down here. Because the platonic Jacob and the real Jacob were the same thing. That's teshuva. Teshuva is to take the platonic Yaakov Moshe Ben Baruch, that's me, Joel Finkelstein, the platonic Joel Finkelstein, and make him look exactly like the earthly Joel Finkelstein. Then you can reach not perfection, but teshuva. Teshuva is something you go up and down in the ladder. You, you don't always make it all the way up to the divine throne, but you can get close. You can approach. That's our job. Is, can we even approach God this year? Are we even trying to make our will like God's will? That if He wanted me to do certain mitzvot, that's what I want to do. That my desires should be for the highest desires, the most beautiful and most lofty desires. That's the question. Can we make our will like God's will? Can we listen to His voice? Can we approach that ladder? Can we make it that the real me is the same as the Ide- as, the, as the ideal me? That's the question. And if we can reach that level, if we can even approach it, we'd be fulfilling the verse, Shuva Yisrael Ad Hashem Lekecha. Rabbi Yochanan says, you're not perfect. You're not going to be exactly like the ideal self. But you know what? You could approach it. You could begin to attack it. You could begin to tackle it. You could begin to climb the ladder to get Ad. We should all at least be on the ladder, on the rung on, on the ladder, on the path, on the journey toward, toward the ideal self, toward the self with, with, with which whom God is happy to rest. Thank you for joining us here at the Anshay Sfar, Bethlehem, the congregation. You're now in Memphis, Tennessee. Join us each week for the discussion of the holidays and the Parsha. And thanks so much for Jason Lefkowitz, our producer. Thank you.